The, the competition here today, I'm sure all of you have prepared well enough that inshallah hoping that all of you will inshallah win a trophy at least. Not enough trophies yes, for everyone to win. But you will at least everyone who will every one of you will get something inshallah ta'ala, yeah? So we want everyone who uh, who is participating at least to stay till the end and witness the whole event, enjoy the whole program, inshallah ta'ala. The trophy is obviously only the winners will get. So we hope, we pray inshallah ta'ala, all of you have prepared well, but we know not everyone can win the trophy. We are about to inshallah indulge in something very important, and to know about the life of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We all know who he is, don't we? All of you should know who he is by now. Because it's important that you, the future Muslims, know the Prophet of Allah properly. Okay, I'd like to uh, welcome everybody to our um, Ramadan reading challenge 2012. Um, very briefly, I'm going to quickly run through introduction and competition format and just give the opportunity to ask uh, Q&A if you have any. First of all, having the competition idea come about, um, very simply, basically because this whole month of Ramadan fell during your school summer holidays, some of us brothers, we thought it would be a good idea because you've got so much time. We didn't want you to be... A lot of very close results and we've just reviewed few and we feel we have to allow few additional students to go through just to keep it fair, okay? So, I'm going to read out the, the contestants who needs to be in the fair hall now. It's Fakou Hali. Okay, just say, what should they say? The bike, is it? The bike. Okay. Mustaqim Chowdhury? Okay. Nishab Jahangir? Jamaila Islam, Alina Ahmad, Muhammad Kalam, Muhammad yeah. So, and what we normally do is we start with the one on the right, the one on my right hand side. That happens to be Asia. Okay. So, inshallah, we'll start with. I'm oh, sorry, his grandfather of the Mukalli. Right. Well done. Question two. If the migration is done in the way of religion and for the sake of Allah, it is known as? Hijrah. Hijrah. Okay, well done. Question three. Who is Hazrat Asma radiallahu anha? that used to bring food for Prophet Muhammad and Abu Sufi. Okay, question four. Who is Hazrat Ali Ibn Abi Talib Ali Ibn Abi Talib Ali Ibn Abi Talib Ali Ibn Abi Talib Ali Ibn Okay, well done. You've done well. These questions are very, very challenging. I mean, you are in the knockout round, so obviously we have to... It's got to be challenging, otherwise, you know, we can't let our trophies go away just by baby questions. What does an alfil mean? The year of the elephant. The year of the elephant? No. Well done. Okay, question two. Who was the first female Muslim killed by Abu Jahan? Sumayya. Sumayya. Hazrat Sumayya. MashaAllah. Question three. There were three leading Jewish tribes in Medina. Name any one of them. Banu Nadir. Banu Nadir. Okay, mashallah. Question four. 
Who led the army of Quraysh in the battle of Uhud? Who led the army of Quraysh in the battle of Uhud? Okay, gave up. Okay, question five, please. <coughs> Which Sahabi took the responsibility of leading the Salah in Masjid al Nabi when the Prophet Islam was feeling unwell? So when Prophet was unwell, which Sahabi used to lead the Salah? I know. Abu Bakr, she said. No. Oh, not Abu Bakr. Okay, inshallah. Well done, both of you sit down, inshallah. We'll move on to the boy's side. And as the Sunnah, I'll start from my right hand side, okay? So is it Mustaqim? Okay, inshallah. So Mustaqim, please. Question one. Where did Abraha set up a mock Kaaba? Yemen. Yemen. Hey, mashallah. What does the Arabic word Ahad mean? Allah is one. Allah is one. Well done. Question three. An animal from paradise took the Prophet Islam to the night journey. What is the name of this animal? Burak. Hey, mashallah. He's what is the name of the Sahabi who suggested digging a trench on one side of Medina before a battle? Salman al Farsi. Salman al Farsi. Mashallah, mashallah. Hey, okay, question five. Which wife of the Prophet bore a son named Ibrahim? Maria the Cock, Mashallah. Which planet did you come from, young man? Planet. Okay, Tabir. Who wants to your name? Abdul Muqtadir, yeah? Muqtadir. Okay, very inshallah. What did the birds drop on Abraham's army to destroy them? Play stones. Okay, we'll take that. Question two. Why did Hazrat Umar radiallahu anhu strike his brother-in-law and sister? Because he found out they became Muslim. They found out they became Muslim. Okay, inshallah. How was Hazrat Abbas radiallahu anhu related to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa Uncle, mashallah. Okay, question four. How did Quran describe the Treaty of Hudaybiyah? Think about this. This is an important treaty. What does Quran describe of this treaty? Okay, mashallah. Question two. When Abdas 
heard the name of Muslim Yunus Islam, from the Prophet Islam. Why did he kiss his feet? Because Adas was from a faraway place, and how was the Prophet know of him when he was so far away? And then he said he would mention the Holy Quran, so he told you for the truth of it. Good, good. Okay, mashallah, we picked up. He realized that Muhammad was indeed a prophet. Yeah. Okay, question three. When the Prophet arrived in Medina, he was riding a she camel. What was its name? Aswa. MashaAllah. Okay. Question four. Who was leading the Muslim army against the state of Busra? Basra. 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 I don't know. Okay. That is a tough question. Zaid ibn Harisa. Question 5. These are the words of the enemy of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. O Muhammad, I do not hold you to be a liar, although I do not believe in what you preach. What was his name? Abu Jahl. Okay, well done, well done. Okay, at the end of the round, we go. It's not in order. Okay, we go with number two, Asia, number three, Abdul Muqtadir, number four, Nuhamiya. And Muhammad Kalam with number four. And Mustaqim Chaudhuri, who's the probably man from the alien planet, is for five. Okay? MashaAllah. Well done. From this round, the weakest two will get knocked out. So the top three are. Top three are Nuhamiya, Mustaqim Chaudhuri, and Muhammad Kalam. So you're through to the semi final which will begin any moment, so don't go away. Okay, we're going to start from the... from Noha, inshallah. Computer, Jesus. Okay, um, again, 40 seconds. Okay, question one. When the Prophet Islam was six years old, his mother took him to visit her relatives in Medina. Where they stayed for a month, the Prophet learned a sport there. What was it? Swimming. Okay, mashallah. Question two. Two of the daughters of the Prophet were married to Hazrat Usman radiallahu anhu. Name any one of them. Rukaiya. Okay, mashallah. Question three. What was the name of the place in Medina where the first Friday khutbah was delivered? Place in Medina where the first Friday football. Okay, 
Fortunately, the answer is nothing. Haris ibn Umair radiallahu anhu. Question five. How many Muslim soldiers were set off for the Battle of Tabuk?
Right, okay, don't go away. We'll very quickly start on Sharma. Here we go, we're ready. Sharma, welcome for coming, coming this far. You're very close, okay, now you get a choice. The idea is the lifeline, obviously you don't want to use them straight at the beginning, okay? You want to save them for later. Yeah, in the case you don't know, yeah, you have no idea, then maybe you use the use the audience. Whereas if you go half an idea, then you use the 50-50, okay? So inshallah you get a choice, so we're going to start from my right, uh, Mustaqim. And you get a choice, inshallah, you want to choose your topic. You can, you don't have to select question one, you can go for Q5 if you want, okay? So take a pick, whichever one you want from the grid. It's 10, isn't it? 10 each, but they can pick from anywhere in the grid. Okay? So, Mr. Kim, do you want to pick one? Okay, personality Q3, please. When the Prophet heard that Abdullah ibn Amr had vowed to fast and to pray throughout the night, the Prophet A told others, B ignored him, C very pleased, D stopped him. So only one of those questions uh, answer is right. Are you sure? With D, 100%? Okay, we're gonna go by D. Okay, answer is correct. <coughs> Okay, Mama, hello. Yes. Early life, question five. Ooh. Okay, early life, question five. Right, one of the Sahabi was tortured by putting him on a bed of hot charcoal and standing on his chest so that he could not move. The scars on his body was visible all his life. What was his name? A. Abu Dhar, B. Bilal, C. Khattab, D. Yasin. Are you sure? Okay, 100% we're taking it. Okay, question is C. Khattab. Khattab, radiallahu anh, mashallah. Okay, pressure zone, Mustaqim. Okay, young man going for a difficult one. Battles, question two. Okay, two young boys wanted to fight for Islam in the Battle of Uhud and were allowed. One of them was Rafi. What was the name of the other one? A. Samura. B. Hudayfa. C. Jafar. D. Shuaim. You sure? Okay, we're going to take C, Jafar. Okay, unfortunately, the answer was Samura. Okay. Okay, life in Medina, question four. When the Prophet reached near Medina, the chief of Aus tribe had the privilege of being his host. What was his name? A. Ayyub Ansari, B. Kulsu ibn Hakim, C. Khalid bin Walid, D. Abu Sufyan. Are we sure? Ayyub Ansari, he says. Okay, unfortunately, I think you misunderstood the question. Okay. So, I think we're both equal. Okay, Mustaki. The Prophet is mentioned by his name in one of his surah of the Quran. Which one is it? No way. Which one is it? That one. Girls, girls, quiet, please. Wait, but have you finished? Are you sure? 
You go 50-50, you go, the, you go both right line left. The Prophet is mentioned by his name in one of the surah. Which one is it? So his confident is A, Surah As-Saf. Surah Ahzab. Okay. Okay, very unfortunate. Shalom. Unfortunately, we've, we've reached time for Maghrib. We're just going to ask one last question to Kalam and then we'll have to resume after Maghrib. So please just bear with us. Question for Kalam. Early life question two. Early life question two. The Prophet was on a journey back from Medina when his mother died at a place called A. Taiba B. Mecca C. Aqwa D. Kufa Are you sure, young man? You still have both lifeline left. Okay, you still have 30 seconds. Okay? If you're confident, we'll take it. If not, you can ask your audience or you can take 50-50. You're confident? Okay, our young man is confident. So answer what? Taiba, he said. Question answer was Abwa. So, okay, very unfortunate. Inshallah, we'll have to stop here. We're going to pray Maghrib and straight after Maghrib we will start. So please don't go away. Okay, inshallah, we're going to start with Mustaqim. Battles question one. Okay, the first battle against Quraysh was fought in Badr. This place is miles away from Medina. Is it A, 50 miles, B, 80 miles, C, 60 miles, or D, 90 miles? Okay, remember you do have 50-50 and you've got the, ask the audience. Are you certain? Okay, young man is certain it is B. Okay, 80 miles, mashaAllah. Okay, Muhammad Khalam. Life in Medina, question 3. Life in Medina, question 3. Okay, the very first Friday khutbah and congregation prayer was performed at A. Bani Salim, B. Mecca, C. Medina, D. Kuba. The very first Friday khutbah and congregation prayer. This is for study. Are you 100%? Okay, I'm sorry, it's A for the Sali. Okay, mashallah, that is the correct answer. Personality question 2. Personality question 2. Who told the Prophet that he looked older than what he really was? Was it A? Hazrat Umar, B. Hazrat Abu Bakr, C. Hazrat Usman, D. Hazrat Ali. Okay, remember Hazrat Abu Bakr was the best friend of the Prophet, so why would he make such a comment? Are you sure about that? Okay, young man is Adam and is B, okay? Okay, inshallah. So, if I can ask, first of all, Young Usman Ramzan to come forward for your gift. Usman Ramzan to come forward for your gift and certificates for participation. Well done, well done. If I can ask Adam Ali, Adam Ali to come forward for your certificate and gift. Second prize and third, first prize to give away. Um, Nuhamia to receive her third prize. Okay, okay. our uh, respected elder Bexa will give you your second prize. 
ماشاء الله